Hello, John Zimmerman with AlgebraTestHelper.com, and I just want to um, uh, take a few minutes here to help you out with your math test. So if you have a math exam coming up, or maybe you're taking tests like the SAT, um, GED, um, ASVAB, whatever the case might be, if you're taking some sort of test that involves math, I want to give you some good general advice that's really going to help you um, really to kind of ace your math test. Okay, the first thing that uh, you want to do, and this is kind of more for the kind of classroom setting. First thing you want to do, and probably the most important thing, is to listen, listen to your teacher. Okay, to your teacher. Guess what? Your teacher, you know, your teacher is really their report card comes from your performance. So they don't want to have a classroom full of students that are failing. So it's important that their that their students perform well. So when your teacher is lecturing or, or saying, hey, write this down, guess what? In, in a lot of ways, they are telling you what uh, the test questions are going to be. So whatever your teacher emphasizes, okay, what they say, things like write this down, okay, write this down. Or um, another thing, if they stress a certain like homework problem, okay those type of things, those little hints, guess what? What they're really telling you is these things are going to be on the test. All right. Well, how do I know that? Well, <laughs> I'm a teacher myself. Okay. And I've taught for many, many years and I taught with, uh, with a lot of different teachers. And guess what? We, a lot of ways we all think alike as far as test, as far as testing goes. Okay. So believe me, if I'm emphasizing something, I'm saying this is really important or if we're doing a lot of the same problems, I can almost guarantee you it's going to be on test. And also, oops, this is stress, I'm sorry. And another thing um, is your homework problems, okay, or the type of problems you're doing in class. So whatever type of practice problems, okay, I'm just going to abbreviate here, practice problems you've been doing, okay, whether it's in, in class, on a worksheet, or your teacher, you know, has been doing in your notes, okay, or your homework, guess what? Those are the type of problems are going to show up again. Oftentimes, it's the exact same problem, maybe with a slightly little bit of a change. But it, uh, the teachers, a lot of times, will just recycle problems from your homework and put them right on a test. Okay, that's very common. So listen to your teacher. Okay, and there's another thing too. If you don't listen to your teacher, to your teacher, not only are you going to miss out on all of this good information, they're not going to particularly like you. Okay, you kind of hook you up when there's a decision to be made whether let's kind of take a look at a number here 69.49 percent okay that might be the difference between an f and a d or passing and failing and if your attitude is poor guess what their judgment about you is going to be hmm you know what i think this person deserves f believe me your conduct in class really influences your teachers uh, thinking about you when they're grading your test. Okay, so that's really good stuff and you want to um, take that to heart. Now for those of you um, studying for an exam, like let's say the GED or SAT, ACT, etc., the thing that you need to focus on is kind of relearning and mastering the core principles. Okay, you have to go back and you have to learn a lot of, of math. Okay, if you're Starting for the GED, for example, you have to learn a lot of basic um, algebra and basic geometry. So your starting point is go back and and uh, relearn these core skills. So how do you do that? Well, you want to get yourself a book, but a book is not enough. Okay, books are okay, books are good, but they're not they're not enough. What you need is a coach. Okay, a coach, uh, a teacher. Okay, a tutor, if you will, and the best tutors are the ones that really know what they're talking about. You know, if you can get get a hold of a math teacher, that's great. Someone who has the experience, uh, the knowledge, to to instruct you, and not only that, to inspire you, because a lot of these bigger bigger tests, like the GED or SAT and ACT, they're they're kind of like you know life challenging. You know, they're like, hey, these are big milestones in your young young life. Okay, or maybe in the case of the GED. You might be 30, 40, 50 years old going back. This is a milestone in your life. So you need someone that's going to be able to motivate you and inspire you and teach you the basics. So there's nothing more effective or more valuable to connecting with this type of person. Um, 
of course, uh, you know, we offer, you know, my sites offer Algebra Test Helper, a free resource. And I have another website. I can write this down for you. www.tabletclass.com. And there we offer full courses, um, complete full instruction. So if you like my style of teaching and you can you connect with it, and believe me, I'm very passionate about helping people, then you can come over to tabletclass.com and um, check out one of our courses. And we also have a coaching program that uh, I run. It's on a very limited basis because I just don't have a lot of time. If you go to Algebra Test Helper here, um, you can actually uh, sign up and request to work with me one-on-one um, -on -one, um, over the internet. Okay, it's an extremely, extremely effective, powerful way. Of course, you know it's not free, but you know if you're willing to make a, a financial investment, believe me, you're gonna, you're, it's gonna be by far the most effective way to uh, really relearn math, you know, and, and take yourself to the next level. So anyways, um, bottom line, um, how to ace your math test is you got to be thinking about your strategy before the test, okay? If you're like, hmm, how do I ace the math test and it's not before, guess what? You're going to be stuck with cramming, and as you and I know, cramming works, you know, maybe sometimes you, know, you get lucky, but that's not a good strategy, okay? And that's only lasts for maybe like one test. Come to your final exam, you're going to fail, okay? So you want to have a long-term strategy, and um, anyways, hopefully you learned something, and have a great day.